Trump keeps scoring, the Dems still boring. I wonder, what did Trump learn from impeachment? That the Democrats are crooked, they've got a lot of crooked things going, that they're vicious, uh, that uh, they shouldn't have brought impeachment. Hmm, anything else? And that my poll numbers are 10 points higher because of fake news like NBC. The country, the country kept thriving during impeachment and America's starting to notice. You know how pollsters ask, are you better off than you were three years ago? This year, 61% said yes, better off under Trump. A number way higher than when incumbents were up for re-election. Re Obama didn't get that high. Well, <laughs> nor did Bush, 43, or Clinton, or Bush, 41. Trump's number is so high, I get a nosebleed just reading it. And that's going to be tough for any of the candidates to beat. Honestly, you think Trump's going to worry about this? Now, if I were for Texas, I may say he's, Donald Trump is scared as a cat at the dog pound. But since I'm from New York, I put it this way. We're scaring the living hell out of him. And we're just starting right now. I don't, don't think Texans say that. And I don't think Trump is scared of that. Even CNN knows a Trump victory in November. It's not that hard to get there. Not that hard to get there because North Carolina viewed as a swing state here. North Carolina tends to lean red in presidential politics. Florida in recent elections leans red in presidential politics. Arizona, Democrats think they can win it this year. Let's see. Its history is it leans red. Just those three states get the president to 259. Look at the map. He could get there easily just by winning Pennsylvania again. That would get him over the top. Let's say that one goes blue. President could get there by winning Michigan again. That would get him over the top. He could do it with a combination of New Hampshire and Wisconsin. So when you look at the map now, the president has a viable path. You know, what you can't hear in, in the back there is Don Lemon quietly weeping. I, I guess the Dems better find something else to investigate, like maybe President Trump interfering in the Roger Stone case with a tweet. But in case you haven't noticed, Trump tweets all the time, which means he interferes in everything. <laughs> Mike Bloomberg's a mass of dead energy. <laughs> New stock market record. Spend your money wisely. <laughs> Great lineup on Fox tonight with Jesse Waters, Judge Jeanine, and Greg Gutfeld. <laughs> That's a real tweet. I'm telling you. You name it, he's going to tweet it. So the Dems may try to impeach Trump for this thing, too. It's all they have, especially when the majority says they're better off than three years ago, when 90 percent of the country thinks my life is good. And when the first impeachment didn't put a single dent in Trump's armor, are they going to try it again? I hope so, because I really miss Adam Schiff. <laughs> it burns, but I like it. If you were an apple, I wouldn't pick you. I'm going to go slide down a snowy mountain on my bare feet. No, wait, that's not up. Okay. Ready or not, here I chess. Go, Adam, go. Somebody call security? Security. Prove it in a court of law. I say I have the light. I recognize myself. Good night. In general, what do you think? In, in general, I know President Trump, and it's it, he can never not say something about mm -hmm. people. Like, he actually yeah. brought me to the Lincoln bedroom, uh -huh. and I was having an out-of-body experience. I'm looking at the Gettysburg Address, and I turned around <laughs> and said, uh, he said, you know, Rob, not everybody gets to see this unless, of course, you donate to the Clinton Foundation. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like you just, you, you just can't not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just... Oh, just that always <laughs> happens when I'm yeah. hanging out with the president, too. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> No, but, but, but it's funny um, hearing Bloomberg talk because, you know, I like to make jokes once in a while, too. And my jokes, my number one joke's never about poop, but it is always a solid number two. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. That has nothing to do with anything. I'm just... I don't know. You know, Cyrus, that was a pretty good joke. Thank, thank you. Bad. It was better. It takes a second. Here's a, I, I, for all the money that Bloomberg has, he couldn't found a comedian coach. I mean, he gave me 250000 bro. I'll do the jokes for you. Yes. But, I mean, he literally said in Texas he was more nervous than a cat yeah. at a dog pound. <laughs> Why? All the dog 
dogs are locked up. Like, his jokes don't make any damn. And then he was like, but how we do it in New York? And you remember the one guy in the crowd was like, how do you do it in New York? Thank you. The entire place was like, with sometimes when people talk mm -hmm. and they can't tell a story, it hurts so bad you can't look at them. Yeah. I guarantee you that entire audience, by the time you got the dog pound, were like, it's pain. And then you have to look back to acknowledge because he's looking at you. So you go like, <laughs> oh, you're right. Let's go. Like, it was, when you don't have charisma or talent and you're a billionaire, yeah. you buy it, bruh. Exactly. Yeah. I'm on sale. But here's the deal. I'll get up there. I think he is paying for it, Kat, but he's getting lousy jokes. Yeah. I think so too. I'm like, we'll make a cat in the stretch post contest. Yeah, the, I, it's so Have weird. Did you see the ice cream video? When he yeah, oh, yeah. And he's got big gray ice cream, which I'm assuming is yeah. glorious. But like, he just he kind of dove in. Like, yeah. Because he probably has somebody it's to feed, feed him ice cream. cream. Yeah. Because yeah. He's but a I would think about voting for a guy who was like, if I'm your president, this is going to happen. And someone feeds you ice cream. Yeah. And then there's giant gingerbread men flipping around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And him riding a giant cat he made, he cloned from a dinosaur. Like, this dude gets things done. Yeah. He's a billionaire I want to know about. Instead, we get, like, a cat and a dog. It's Texas. You ain't talking about cows, steers, and cowboy hats. It ain't funny, Jack. Yeah. What do you think, Mark? Was that well, really my my, my yes. time to talk? Because yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they both just talked over me the whole time. But that was good. I'm yeah, sorry, I mean, I, is, Did I hear that right? That cat is the one who killed Bin Laden? Yes, yeah. yes. I'm amazed. <laughs> I never knew that. I should have killed Bin Laden. Yeah. I forgot. I couldn't. Just, just to go back to what Tyrus. Very Tyrus. truculent. Of <laughs> yeah, nice. truculent. I, I get it. I get yeah. it. It's Tyrus, yes. uh, I can believe. Last time round, I can't believe they found someone who tells a joke worse than their candidate in 2016. Because every time I came on this show that time, I used to do uh, Hillary when she'd be saying, boy, I want to tell you, and she'd do the bobblehead oh, thing. Remember Pokemon yeah. going to the polls? Now, that's all. Yeah, if you're a Democrat president, all, all Blue Bob has to do is, boy, he's about as scared of me as a cat in a dog pound, and uh, then fall over. And he'd, ha and he'd get the Hillary ovation. And also so, like, d Trump mm -hmm. is funny. Yeah. Like, whether you like him, don't like him, it, he's objectively hilarious, yeah. and you're not going to be able to be funnier no. than he is. Yeah. You're just not. No, and actually, that's a good point. You should be the guy who just keeps saying, that's not funny. Yeah, yeah. You, I, because the Democrats are actually a great humorless party these say there's the they're the party of the humorless all right they're the people who say that's not there I, I think it's good bloomy and trump it's a tortoise versus the hare because he does look like a tortoise yeah. and trump's got the hair <laughs> all right <laughs> well played sir